Hi everybody, today we are going to paint some flowers. It's looking like it's going to rain here in town, so these are the flowers I'm going to paint. They are right at my house, which is really lovely. I can paint right here. So on this setup, I have the cup on one side, my little art toolkit palette, and we took a drawing board. And if you look underneath, there is a tea nut that right through there that I was able to attach to my tripod. And then over here, there's been holes to hold brushes. I hope you guys enjoy. And I am using my etcher sketchbook and this is my brush selection. Thanks for watching. Kind of goes, you can see it kind of goes down. Kind of like this. And then kind of goes about like that. I am working on my uh, drawing skills. Kind of have somewhat of a ground. And then the proportions may not be exactly right. I'm okay with that for today. It's gonna rain and I just wanna be able to relax and sketch. And then another one here. And that's the beauty with sketchbooks. Things don't exactly have to be perfect. Okay, so I got my little pots. And then this one has like a little brim. And some lines. And then it has like a they're like line type deal. And then this has like curves. Okay, and then this is a solid. And then, gonna have our flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead, and for Mother's Day, I got this Sailor Food A pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. And I went ahead and put in some black noodlers ink. Kind of goes like that. And down. I haven't put up a video in about a week. I was having a um, plant cell. And I think here in the near future ooh, I kind of like how that did it that that I want to um, have a second channel for gardening type tips and so I think I might start that and I'm trying to come up with a name right now so and it kind of goes down. I think this kind of needed to go higher for the rim. And I kind of like that look, how it made the line a little thicker. It's my first really fountain pen, so I'm trying to get used to it. 
let me know in the comments if you guys have any tips for the pens. I'm all new in this pen world. Okay. It's kind of something like that. And so I have some petunias, so I'm gonna just kind of I'm just wanting to lightly sketch. This is where I'm trying to practice flowers more. And things don't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm trying to have a general kind of feel of it. I kind of wanted a sketchy look. And then, like I said, it's not going to be perfect by any means. But just being out here, just makes me so happy. Filling it in. Okay. So there's kind of the first pot. This one. I have a light sticking in there, kind of going around like that. Some leaves behind it. Does anybody else ever feel like they just really struggles with sometimes like the drawing aspect of things I know I do but I figured the more I practice and get out of my little bubble and start I want to say kind of going outside my comfort zone a little bit. I think it's going to make me a stronger painter in the long run. So just trying to stay motivated can sometimes be a challenge, I think. I know it is for me. Sometimes I feel like, am I just reaching for something, you know? Then, then I get thinking, I'm doing this for me. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. And how many think, buddy, does stuff perfect when they first try something so I am about a year and a half out in my watercolor adventures but I am now trying actively to do more ink and wash and get a lot stronger at my drawing skills you don't have to draw perfect but I want to get a bit stronger than what I am at it so you guys are gonna see in my channel and hopefully we can grow together 
because I am certainly always going to be reaching for the stars and trying a bunch of new things. So as I sit here mindfully, I am just trying to let the fountain pen, sorry, flow. I know that these aren't going to be perfect. But I feel with each flower I'm doing, it's going to be a improvement. Trying to get some more greenery in here. So, moral is don't feel defeated. And I feel the more practice makes perfect. And one of these days, I am going to be a, a lot stronger of a sketcher for doing so. So now, the part I really look forward to, and that's the painting. I think I'm going to use a Princeton size 6 round Neptune. I'm using my Fiber Castell thing. Hopefully everything's staying in focus. I apologize. It's a little tricky using this gooseneck. So I'm going to think I'm going to take some green gold. And trying to carefully filling in some of this green for the leaves. I think it's, I love green gold. I think it's almost a perfect color for the spring. Sorry guys, not trying to make you sick or nothing. I love this little setup. I use it a lot right up in my living room. And it works really well. When you don't have a lot of space, it's really good just to improvise and see what you can come up with. And if I start losing my voice, I have really bad allergies. I'm going ahead and cleaning my brush. And then I think this is sap green. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of filling it in in some spots. I don't want it to be just one solid color. And if I was out in the field, this is kind of what I would do. And then I would be having more in-depth um, for the studio. Trying to practice getting a little bit more realistic. But when I urban sketch plain air, I do very loose style. And then... I save the more realistic stuff for in the studios. Okay, I'm just trying to add a little bit more color. I love listening to the birds outside. Okay, now the wind's picking up, so I'm glad I didn't have to go too far. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in some of these flowers now. The ones back here are like a yellow. So we got some yellow ones.
and then some purple, which would be I believe this is quinacridone rose and take some of my yeah trying to add some color in here trying to dab it off and not move things too much Goes through in the air. And then these are a little bit on the more bluish side of purple. But I love this time of year. Painting flowers are just so relaxing. And I'm not putting in the white flowers. I, you know, I'm making that artistic choice. You can, though. You could take a really light gray. But I'm choosing to use a little bit of an artistic license. Just because I don't know how long I have with the weather today. And I know I'm not, I don't want to be out here super long. Because rain is coming. Okay. So I need to make kind of like a tealy color. So. Trying to play around. I need to look. I don't have. You would think I would. But I don't have all the colors memorized. I need to. It was great in theory, but to have a bigger palette, there we go, that's the color I'm looking for. I'll bring it up so you can see it. That's pretty. But I took um, Phaleo Blue and some Phaleo Green. And it's an overcast day, so not a lot of shadows or anything to today so I'm just going to pretend like the sun is on the one side and that's probably going to cauliflower I had too much water Oops. but this way you can see the process and realize it's fine that's the joy of working in a sketchbook but I want to make it darker on the one side So then once I'm done, sorry, not trying to bump the phone. And this gooseneck, it works, but it doesn't have like the strongest hold. So okay, so putting in the bluish color, <coughs> excuse me. And then you can hear a squirrel. <clears throat> I have a squirrel living in my tree. So I'm going to take some of this Indian yellow. Or not Indian yellow, but Indian red. I love Indian red, by the way. And some burnt sienna mix. I'm kind of doing the same thing. I want to put it darker on this side. And hopefully I can get this all edited and out today. That's the goal. My birds are quite mad. I'm outside and my dog. But it would have been too much to have her outside and trying to do this. And my boyfriend's at work today, so... I don't have his assistance with her. Okay. 
and I love how that is turning out. I love burnt sienna and Indian red together. Okay. And this one is a little bit more brown, so I'm going to go ahead and mm, I think this is burnt umber here. I had all these colors wrote down and what they were, but I lost the paper. Oh no, it is. So now, a lesson learned because it's such a small palette. I didn't have enough room to like write the names, which I normally do on my swatch card, but that's okay. It don't help you guys much, so I try my best. A lot of them I know the colors, but okay. And I have it a little too light. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to darken it some. But still trying to keep the darkest color on this side. Okay. And so now we need to fill in the dirt. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this a lighter color because we're going to go ahead and add layers. And I'm going to just kind of fill it in. I hope it's not moving around too much. And I tried it on slow mode or fast. But trying to do this fast, it like just, it vibrates way too much. So, sorry you guys are still hearing my birds in the background. They are quite ticked off. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I want to start adding some of the a darker color. So I think this is sepia here. Sepia or a burnt umber. This might be burnt umber. But regardless, I'm just going to kind of dab it in. Not trying to shake anything. So I'm just going to try to hold this here. I am um, seeing Becky Ko is um K O A Koi K Koi. But anyway, Becky uses this gooseneck for her plein air videos and her urban sketching. So I am. Um, that's what I'm using. I have a tripod to use with the camera. However, I am not the best at technology and I need to figure out a edit a good editing program for a camera. So if anybody has a suggestion of any really good editing, I would greatly from recording with a camera, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm currently using um iMovie with my iPhone, so I don't have a lot of experience with editing and recording. I've had to teach myself and thanks to wonderful uh, Think Media, shout out to you guys. You have been wonderful on teaching people, especially people like me who been out of college for a really long time and school a really long time so I don't know the updated things but once I get this um, a lot more paint gone from this palette I am going to be switching it out and I also for Mother's Day have a order coming I cannot wait to show you when it gets here and I also had gotten a folio palette from our toolkit so I definitely will be when I go to fill that I'm just trying to decide on what colors and you guys know how that goes 
trying to decide what colors but once I decide on the colors I'm gonna let you guys know what what I designed it how I organized it and the colors I chose and why so just trying to add in more here so it looks kind of like dirt and I am pretty happy with how it turned out it's not 100% perfect by any means I am really learning this um to be honest it's been all new the from the sketching to the painting it's just it's been an adventure and I love it I hope you guys get a experience some plain air even just sitting outside in your own yard things do not have to be perfect but it's just having that experience and I love it it don't look exactly the same as mine but it's not too bad I think this needs to be almost darker let's put in some darker barrels kind of taking it down well if you guys like what you're seeing and you want to follow some more of my painting adventures outside because summer's just beginning and on this channel we're going to be doing a lot of outside painting and weather you know depending on the weather but we're also we'll be doing some studio painting but if you guys like what you see hit you know hit the like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified but it's really important for other people to be able to find me is you know for this type of content so if you like what you see i appreciate it thanks guys and you have a lovely day i'm almost done so i just want to add in a few more little colors just to give it a little bit more pop trying to keep your keep my hand out of it there very nice you guys have a lovely day thanks for watching bye